the Cro-Magnon, our own species. Thinner, weaker, but smarter. Moments later, they hear loud, unfamiliar voices. And an odd-looking group of hunters appears out of nowhere on the move toward the herd. The clan is too petrified to move. Who are these strange men? We The Cro-Magnons have risen to these challenges. While the surviving Neanderthals struggle through food shortages and frostbite somewhere in a nearby forest, these modern human hunters are well-fed and warm, and they have their brains. To The only indisputable proof of language is a written record, and that wouldn't exist until about 3000 BC. But there is circumstantial evidence that these Cro-Magnons did communicate verbally some 25,000 years earlier. For example, it appears they had an organized trade system. There is evidence of um, long-distance transfer of materials, such as raw materials for making special tools, for instance, which happens much more frequently with early modern humans than with previous groups, such as Neanderthals. Amber, dating from this time period and traced to the Baltic region, has been found in southern Europe. And ancient seashells from the Mediterranean show up in Cro-Magnon dig sites as far north as Ukraine. Coordinating such an organized exchange of resources would likely have required advanced communication skills. Everybody would argue that they had complete language, modern human communication skills based on all of these behaviors. I think it just fits with the whole picture of early modern humans as being very culturally sophisticated, having very complex social networks, a fully modern culture and behavior.